Hello and welcome to the ING SS Plus 2020. My name is Stefan Meyer and I would like to present you the barometric test solutions that Roland Schwarz offers. Well, first of all, which kind of devices do we test? Um, for us, we test form factor, small form factor devices like uh, smartphones or tablets, etc. Um, and why is barometric pressure sensing important in those small form factor devices? Uh, the reason behind is actually the FCC, the US regulator, recently decided to add a vertical accuracy requirement. So far, its accuracy requirements were always two dimensional, let's say 50 meter horizontal accuracy. But now they also notice that it's important to determine the floor level for first responders that are sent to a hospital or to an office building or a multi story apartment building. Um, well, the working principle of barometric pressure sensing is actually quite old. It's used in the aviation industry for decades. How does it work? We have a well calibrated sensor on our device that we want to locate. And on the other hand, we have a reference sensor that is used um, to compensate effects like uh, weather effects, etc. Um, well, then we have a rather simple formula that you can use to calculate the altitude with that reference station. Um, well, I already mentioned that the absolute barometric sensor reading has to be accurate on the end user device. This method lives from that fact. And therefore, we designed a test system that can ensure that with uh, devices like smartphones or tablets. Uh, what you see here is actually our barometric pressure chamber that you can use in combination with the controller to um, produce a, a, a controlled pressure environment. Uh, you can also put that in an environmental chamber to do the measurements at different uh, temperature levels. Um, of course, you can also combine that with our RF test system to test the barometric pressure sensing along with the Genus S and Wi-Fi positioning. Uh, well, I would like to present you now some interesting findings that we collected with that device. Here you can see a comparison of two different devices under test, two different smartphones. Um, the first one, DUT1, is performing um, tremendously well over a wide range of temperatures and even over a wide range of um, levels, of, of altitude levels. As you can see here, we could actually reach this um, floor level accuracy mandate from FCC easily because 50 Pascal somehow translate to that accuracy requirement. So DUT1 would easily pass that requirement. However, on the other side, you see a DUT2, which is obviously not well calibrated. In the first place, you can see there is already a, a bias that could probably be relatively easy compensated. But even leaving the bias aside, the sensor is actually producing different readings on different or significantly different readings on different temperature levels. And if you think about a device that is worn in a pocket or lying on a table, um, you could have a difference in those temperature ranges, as you can see here, what we tested. Um, what does it actually mean? It means, in my eyes, two things. One thing is that it's quite feasible to achieve this FCC regulatory requirement with commercial grade sensors in, in smartphones or in other 5G devices. Um, on the other hand, it also means still it's necessary to conduct some testing. So what we get off the shelf in many cases today might not be well calibrated and might not deliver the required accuracy. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and please stay also tuned for the other videos. Thank you very much.